Okay, so uh, it was a long ass Q&A. You're probably gonna find a really good quality version of it somewhere else. But in the meantime, uh, I'm gonna play some of the Q&A that really stood out to me, particularly this one woman who cried, who uh, I almost cried just because she cried. <laughs> she like, was, she was really, moved. Then, and then what, you couldn't, what I couldn't capture though, was I looked around, I was like, there's a lot of other people crying now, <laughs> now that she's yeah. crying. <laughs> Everyone's sharing in the... It was a weird moment to be like, I kind of wish I was a woman right now. <laughs> so that I can feel... <laughs> so I can be okay to just cry for everyone. Cry with everyone instead of for women in the world. <laughs> well, you know, get that sex change operation. I finally get that sex change operation. Let's show, these, you know, show you guys some footage. And I know for you, Wonder Woman was a character that you'd been wanting to work on for a really long time. How do you kind of get over that hump of just saying, can I do this, can I do this, and just actually getting into it and making it happen? You know, it's funny. I, I had been talking about it for so long. I had been talking about it for 10 years and meeting with them periodically, and then I'd move on and I'd be doing something else, and then I had a child, and they sent me the script right when I was pregnant, and they're like, do you want it? And I was like, oh, not now. I can't do it right now, you know? And so I think that the, the d duration of that availed me the opportunity to think, well, I love this character, How? and listen, I'm not the only one, lots of other people do too, but as the years went on, I thought, whoever does this needs to truly love this character and want to honor them, so listen, I'm, I don't think I'm the greatest filmmaker in the world, but I, I'd like to try as much as anyone, and so, um, so by the time, but I had a very clear vision for how I wanted to yeah. do it, and the kind of movie I wanted to make, and you know, I've been around the block enough that I don't think it's a favor to anybody to take on a movie if there's a difference of opinion about that, because then you just fight for years. Yeah. So it really was magical that I'd been saying I wanted to do it in a certain way, and all these years later, Warner Brothers found themselves wanting to do it in the same way, and remembered me, obviously, and, and we came together in this wonderful moment, and great thanks to my producer, Rebecca Robin, sitting right here. <laughs> Wonder Woman. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so, uh, you know, so so it sort of happened. There was never any time to really stop and think about it. It was already off to the races, and and I had been saying that for so long. Um, but of course, like it's 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 super sobering. Yeah. It's funny because people have asked me so many questions about was it intimidating the pressure of of being a woman director or whatever, nothing ever eclipsed the pressure of being the one with the duty to try to make a great Wonder Woman. And so from day one, I was like, that is so important to so many people, the way that Superman won was important to me, and nothing ever superseded that from the day I took the job. Well, and I think kind of hearing that perspective on it, where I don't know who's been on social media today or yesterday, but some of the reactions to the movie have been coming out. The embargo was not lifted till the 31st, but we can come out and say how we felt about the movie. And I know you've just been paging through all of them. What, is, so what does it feel like, like to hear the response? Listen, long may it last, but this is a movie that I, I as much as anyone, heard people saying, nobody's gonna like a movie like that, you know, for years. And not so true for, me, for anybody uh, in here, I, right? I, right, you guys? <laughs> I could cry myself to see her fan base show up, to see people respond to the movie in the way that we hoped and dreamed. Not everybody will, but the people who are were so grateful for the support and were so blown away to have gotten through to somebody, anybody, that it gets through to, to say thank you so much for supporting what we were trying to do. And I think for, for across, everyone, what comes across so much too is where you're talking about wanting to have a clear idea of who she is. There have been so many different kind of takes and incarnations of her throughout comics, and I think it's it stays very clear throughout the film the Wonder Woman that you wanted to create, that you wanted all the fans to get to see. Good, I I, I love that. It makes me super happy. And I know you mentioned this before, and we've talked about it a few times, but. Superman one being such an inspiration and you guys got to see that alley scene in one of the clips here Can you talk about how that was kind of an homage to Superman and what Richard Donner did in the Superman one? Yeah Oh, yeah, it was so fun to do that and there's even another little homage in the movie So I, I find that to be such a perfect film because it's dealing with very adult 
themes, but it could reach even a child and was a great time to watch. How wonderful to inspire people to want to be a hero, to want to be a better person, and how do you do that? And how do you learn how to be a loving, wonderful person while wielding these powers? Like, wow, what a thing. So, but when in my many rewatching uh, you know, experiences of that movie, that alley scene I loved. And, and when Diana gets to Man's World, I was like, we have to have a moment where Diana's encountering the problems of Man's World and what a beautiful opportunity to pay a direct homage to that scene because it's so tricky in Superman 1, I don't, those of you who remember or those of you who don't, Superman's in the alley and Lois Lane is such an amazing character in that movie with such great dimension, which also inspired how we approach Chris Pine. He's like, no, they gotta be a great, full-blown, wonderful participant in this story. Um, but it, it's kind of like Superman, she, she's taking on the mugger and Superman catches the bullet without her noticing it and then you notice that he's got it in his hand. So this time I loved the fact that he's saying, stay back and then shoot and then yet he's caught the bullet again and it's like, Steve's no dummy. So Steve's like, that's awkward, but that's useful. <laughs> you should know that. That's slightly uncomfortable for me as a man, but at this moment, also very helpful. He's so super masculine. He's like, yeah, okay, go ahead. You can protect me in this moment. We can do it together. And I love that about their dynamic. Like, who's the guy who's like, um, this is this is not exactly something I know how to deal with, but I've been needing a, someone like you for quite some time, you know? So you have that tension between the two of them. Exactly, I mean, every guy needs a girl who can fend off bullets at any moment, right? Yes. <laughs> Lucy, I'm gonna come over and hand this to you really quickly. Yeah. Um, just kind of tell us what it's like working with, uh, working with everybody on this one and what direction she gave you, because I heard there was a really funny story just starting out creating the character. Funny stories. <laughs> so serious. <laughs> um, funny stories creating the character. Uh, I heard that there was a little like Skype session that went on. We did. We did. I'd, um, I'd read for the role and then Patty and I Skyped and we spoke for maybe an hour. Um, we spoke for a little about the character and then we went off on spiritual things and we were talking about that we think, um, first of all, that we think people love superhero movies because it's something that we want to be, and, and then we were saying, no, I think it reminds us of who we really are. So, um, and I think it sort of awakens the sort of magical, amazing, omnipotent part that is in all of us. And, um, and I cried several times throughout the movie. And, um, <laughs> You're definitely not alone in that, and I cried at different parts every time I've seen it so far. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, um, and it was just a lot of fun. And then she said, I might put you in a curly ginger wig. <laughs> and that happened. <laughs> Make her unrecognizable. Oh, this beautiful God. woman. And so we put her in this, and you on the first day of shooting, I couldn't believe you were like, I, listen, don't, nobody should talk to me. I don't want to talk to anybody. I'm just going to play this role. But yet was so amazingly, probably one of the funniest people I've ever met in my life. Oh, she just wow. did ADR and it made me laugh. It was like, oh. so funny. You really brought that character to life. So great. I, I, I have, I've had, it's been nearly two years since I got this role. And I will say this two years for me on a personal note has been magical. Mm. Like there's something about this movie for me and I think for a lot of people who uh, it's brought things into our lives um, that I never sort of imagined. So I'm really humbled to be part of it actually. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, me too. Thank you. Thank you. I know for a lot of people, seeing even some of the first clips, it was like, oh my god, Etta Candy, I can't wait to see more of her. So I know that everybody in here is going to want to see even more of Etta Candy, even with the red ginger curly wig. We're all into it. We're all into it. Oh, awesome. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and um, I'm not a comic book person, and I'm not an action film person. I'm a, a comedian, and I make awkward comedy videos on YouTube. And I was, I was so incredibly moved by this film. I think we are 
at a really important time for women to rise up. And I'm so excited by the message of this movie. I'm excited by who Steve was in supporting women and showing that being that kind of man actually just makes you stronger. I'm so inspired by her message and her inability to sit passively by. And I'm so excited for my nieces to see this. I really believe that there are messages of love, healing, that would have been told, of course, in so many other stories, but come across so clearly here. And um, I do believe it's gonna be a blockbuster. I do believe it's gonna be the movie that we all want it's going to be. Like I, I want to like take you to coffee and like really like dig in deep. Take you to coffee. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Thank you so much. I mean that I cannot tell you what it means to me when people like all of you like when you say that because I couldn't agree with you more and about the world and and I feel like you know that was part of the the duty that was put in my lap was like, God, it's time for a new kind of hero as well, which is like, to be a hero is not easy and it's not simple and it's not bang, it's over. It's unbelievably complicated and it's gonna require us being better people. And all, and I mean, don't get me started on this, but I could go on and on. I'm quite serious about the fact that this is the story of a, of a, of a someone we relate with taking the journey to learn to be a hero and realizing it is so difficult and not you're not always even able to save people who deserve it. In fact, you're saving a lot of people who don't deserve it and why do you do it then? Because that's what you believe. And like, if we all don't become the hero, we are not gonna be able to save this world because there's nobody coming. And so it means all of us, and particularly in the day and age of the internet and the day and age of like, different countries colliding in different types of people, if we don't become accountable and like challenge ourselves to be more loving and thoughtful with our power, because we all are powerful, then we're not going to save the world. And so that was where, when I have Diana sitting in my hand who stands for love and truth and beauty, and I'm saying, I can, I can, I can try to say something in this world about like, it wasn't what I thought it was gonna to be to be a hero. Instead, it's this other, harder, less glorious choice. So for you as a non-superhero fan, to feel that experience, which I cared about very much too, and always saying like, I wanna make a great superhero movie, and I also wanna make a beautiful movie that, sit, that takes advantage of that to say something, that means so much to me. I, I, I won't forget what you said tonight. Thank you you that there is that there's something about it. I'm so sorry so many people have questions like if I'm gonna zoom I'm gonna zoom yeah, right like this is, I'm holding it I'm zooming it's like um this is a call it feels like a call to action say I would love that yeah I would love it if it became a call to action to people being a hero themselves I would love it yeah and little girls and little boys and everybody may be questioning themselves when they have a choice to make it would change I mean it could change so much, yeah. you know. And Thank I just have you. to say, you're not alone in that feeling because every time I spend time with her, I'm like, can we be best friends? Like, I just want to talk to you about all this stuff. And, and seeing the movie and having those feelings where it was like, within the first five minutes of the movie, I was like, what is on my face right now? Like, I literally, uh, just tears, like not ugly tears, but just like, it's, like just like dripping down my cheek. And I'm like, it's, it's because, you want it, like I, I was saying, it's like Karate Kid, there was no movie like that for girls. And you get to see this little girl who's fighting and wants to be like part of the group and then seeing all these women come together. It is so emotional, whether you're a comic book fan or not. And, and I'm glad that, you know, you're getting to hear this even more in person, not just on Thank social you. media. Um, so I know we've got another question back there. What's your name? What's your question? Tayden. And I was wondering, like, um, like, I don't know what it is. So what's your favorite quality <laughs> in Diana or Wonder Woman that you want to pass on to young girls or boys out there that you just want young kids to have? 
hell. I think it's it's a li it's taking from what I said, which is like you're the hero, a and I mean you, not the you that that could be. I mean you right now. And so every time you face a choice, taking responsibility because it's what you believe that I'm going to make the right move. Nobody may know it, and it might not even be. The, the easy thing to do, or it might not, whatever, but I could make it silently right now myself, because that's what I believe. That That's the number one thing. And the number two thing is like, yeah, is that, is that, is that, is that, is that everybody in this lifetime takes a journey to being a hero themselves, no matter who they are. And so hoping that little boys and little girls everywhere who see it feel like a hero for that night, and it, it inspires that feeling in them. Thank you. I have an eight-year-old son, and it rocks my world, his relationship to YouTube. And like all of the kids that he goes to school with, this is it. This is the whole world. And like to watch like Dan TDM be like the messiah of like his school in England when we're living there, and every kid there is like, Dan TDM! I'm like, oh my God, and Dan's a great guy, thank God, yeah. you know? But the influence that so many people on YouTube, like, this, you know what excites me the most? There was a period of time I stopped watching drama completely. Because I was like, I started watching reality TV, and my attitude was, do a better job, man, and I'll watch it. <laughs> but like, this is dry and played out, and so I'm gonna watch these real people talk to each other and like, a survivor, you know? Like, I'm gonna, I, because at least I was getting like, life. Yeah. Real life. And I, and I, and I felt like it was under such a stranglehold of like, these big things, like dictating something. This has changed the world. Like, YouTube is changing the world, and the fact that like, Everything I said about story, it's human experience, human experience, living human experience. So like, I know you guys know this, this is what you do, but like don't stop believing in the power of your experience, no matter how lo-fi it is, like that's nothing. Lo-fi, high-fi, doesn't matter. You, you could do something on a stage by yourself with no, nothing, and you know, I've seen people do those shows and and have a huge impact on in theater. So it's like it's incredible what you guys are doing and I, I ask you all to like to, to to don't take it lightly what you guys can do. You know, don't take it lightly, even if you're just having a great time. Do that too. You know? <laughs> but anyway, thank you guys so much. I loved coming. Before everybody goes to when we talk about social media, you can talk about Selfies, so I would love to get a selfie with Patty and the whole audience and yeah. everybody doing their power pose. Are you guys looking to do that? Yeah? All right. Thank you guys.